Hi, Andrew with Evermore Studio. In a recent video, I covered how to sculpt Celtic knots in 3D using Nomad Sculpt on the iPad, then how to export them into Blender to create a depth map. An update already, you ask? Well, the latest versions of Nomad Sculpt, anything after 1.66, have a built in function for creating depth maps, saving all that tedious mucking about in Blender. Seriously, this is going to be a really short video. The knot modeling from the last video is still a good approach. After that, here's how to get your depth map straight out of Nomad Sculpt. We'll start with one of the knots I modeled in Nomad Sculpt. First, we make sure we are looking at it straight on. This may be a little different depending on how your model is oriented. In this case, I can just click to the front view, hold to lock the view, then pinch zoom to center and fill the screen. In the debug menu, we tick the box to turn on height map, another name for depth map. It's awfully dark, but we can adjust that using the translations in the gizmo tool settings. Here, it's the blue Z axis, and zero works well. If your object is in a different orientation, this might be different for you. That's it in Nomad. We just need to save a render from this view. I'll choose 4K to make sure I have plenty of resolution, then export and save it off to where I can open it with a bitmap editing program. Optionally, we can use any good bitmap editing program to adjust the levels to extend the tonal range of our depth map. We want to clip the unused portion of the histogram. If you want to stay on the iPad, you can do that in something like Procreate. Open the image, tap the magic wand in the upper left, and adjust the curves. Flatten the unused range to full white and full black as needed. Then bend the middle of the curve towards the middle of the distribution. Eyeballing it is fine here. An easy way to do this in Photoshop is with Image, Adjust, Levels. Drag the sliders to contain the actual range in use. Eyeball the middle slider to the center by weight. If you are using free open source software, the GNU Image Manipulation Program has a similar user interface to Photoshop under Colors, Levels. That's it! Save your adjusted depth map and you're ready to use it for carving with a CNC machine or laser, or for making single image stereograms. If you want more details on how to do those things, check out the previous video. Be sure to enjoy cutting Blender out of that workflow. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.